Hi, my name's Daniel Schwartz, and I'll be going over the vertical foreman and intervertical foreman. So here's a picture of a superior view of an interval, intervertical disc. Um, intervertical foreman is the opening between the adjacent vertebrae. Intervertical disc unite the bodies of adjacent vertebrae, which is the passage for spinal nerve to exit the vertebral column. Um, all vertebral have an opening known as the vertebral form, and together form the spinal canal, and which covers the spinal cord. So the vertebral um, foreman houses the spinal cord, and it's the hole which um, the spinal cord leaves the spinal column and turns into um, nerves. Intervertebral discs provide cushioning and prevent the bones from rubbing together. <clears throat> you can see in the disc, here's the disc, intervertebral disc being cushioned. Um, it occurs between the cervical, which is the neck, the um, thoracic, which is like the rib and upper back, and the lumbar, which is the lower back vertebrae bodies. Um, the way that they provide cushioning is by the way the discs are composed um, with the nucleus pulposus and the um, annulus fibrosus. Um, the nucleus pulposus is like a gel-like substance. 90% um, is water, and it's in the central region, which is padding for the movement between the adjacent vertebrae. Um, the nucleus pulposus is dis dis disputes um, pressure evenly within each disc um, during compression. The annulus fibrosus is a tough outer layer and is attached to the bodies of the adjacent um, vertebrae. The intervertebral disc is flexible, allowing movement of the spinal co um, column. This movement will fluctuate the size of the corresponding intervertebral foramen. Um, if the hole through which the spinal cord leaves the spinal column becomes too small, a pinch would occur. Um, if a herniated disc were to occur at the L3, L4, which is the 22nd um, vertebrae and concave posteriorly, um, this would be much lower down the spine than a herniated disc found at C7 uh, and C8, which is like the neck. Um, it's the seventh vertebrae and convex posteriority. Um, herniated disc causes added pressure to the spinal nerve, creating pain, obviously. Herniated discs are most common in the lumbar region, which is L1 to L5. Um, if the hernia were to occur in the cervical region to C1 to C7, symptoms might um, include loss of bladder control, loss of coordination, heavy feeling in limbs, and trouble balancing.